people. Welcome to Still Diverted. It's so hot. <laughs> I'm Ken. I'm Malcolm. And this is niggas standing on the corner weather. So <laughs> if you have to go outside over the next three months and you live in the hood, just proceed with caution, especially if you're a woman, because it's rough out that's here. That's not even funny. No, that's the truth. It's I'm dead ass. That's bad shit. Anyway, today's Friday, May 19th. Uh, today we're talking about Amber Rose. Somebody breaks into her house. And um, chills for a long time before anyone even notices. And Samuel Berkowitz decides to take down the Biggie mural in Brooklyn. So, and not the one on Fulton, not the one downtown Brooklyn. It's one at Best Stop, but we'll talk about it. You know Brooklyn, so we have many Biggie murals. Exactly, <laughs> we do. Plus, a man has sued his date for seventeen dollars and thirty-one cents for texting in the movie theater. And my brother, I cannot salute you more. I'm not even mad. I can't. I can't. I, I can't. Like I, I'm just so here for it's it. It's hella funny though. Exactly right. All right, let's jump into it. It's still diverted. I'm gonna finish this Jolly Red mm-hmm. first. It's too hot. For Amber me. Rose. So, oh, um, hmm. Oh, mama. Right. So, mother's house was broken into this past. Sorry, it is so hot. I can't even focus. Like my brain is scrambled right Come on, now. Come just sit up straight. It's like, oh my god. Say which ow. Yeah, that was real loud. That should get to be an extra. Luckily, you don't have on a pacemaker. Oh, you don't have a pacemaker. Anyway, sorry. So, well, you can't have on a pacemaker. Mm-hmm. It's not jewelry. You know? It's not jewelry. Um, so, Amber Rose, her house was broken into uh, on Wednesday morning. So, um, house was broken into. The man was in her house for four hours. It was Amber, uh, her baby Sebastian, her mother and her bodyguard, and her assistant all in the house. Somehow, nobody knew that this man broke in. So, um... Like I said, he was in the house for four hours. He broke through somewhere in between the hours of 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. Apparently, Amber's assistant went downstairs to cook breakfast. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry. So the man broke in through Amber's kitchen window. So the assistant goes into the kitchen to cook breakfast. Somehow does not notice that there's broken glass all over the floor from this man breaking in. Amber goes downstairs a couple of hours later. and She's like, sis, what the fuck is this? Why is there glass on my floor? Come to find out. She plays back her surveillance tapes. Finds out there's a man in the house. She calls the police. And, um, yeah. So, surprisingly, the man didn't harm them. He didn't steal anything, which is even even more alarming. Like, I'd rather you just come in and, like, you know, try to steal my TV or my Swarovski crystals or, you know, whatever Amber Rose has in the house. But the fact that he was just there, just chilling, it's just, like, very... It's very weird to me. So, so she didn't get to question him after or speak to him. I don't think so. I think the cops... don't have a name. Yeah, no. Damn, that sucks to have somebody sitting in your house for four hours. Like, for you, four hours. You come home, <laughs> you make dinner. Well, no, she's awake. Yeah. It's six in the morning. So she's asleep, she gets up, she takes a shower, she brushes her teeth, and like this man what is just... What are you doing here? He's just chilling in the den. In the and den. It, and he, didn't, he, he might as well should have cleaned up the glass if you're going to stay there. I mean, if I you're going to do it, do it right. Okay. I mean, all right. Anyway. <laughs> no, so that, A, two things. I think A, Amber Rose clearly lives in a house that's too big for her. Because the fact that somebody broke into your house and you didn't know until four hours later, somebody walk up in this piece, I'm knowing in ten, not even ten minutes, like... I, I believe in one way in, one way out. All of them houses, all of those doors and windows. and Amber, calm down. It's get too a, much. Get a condo. So yeah, it's it too much. Like, I understand you want Baby Bash to have, like, you know, a backyard. But he doesn't care. Maybe this is the I house. I promise you, he doesn't care. Nah, he probably does, dog. Not that if you, big. If you grew up with a backyard and you no longer had a backyard. No, I'm saying, like, having a big-ass house. Like, oh, yeah. It's just a, it's just a big-ass park. Yeah. Like, it's not that deep. So it's, I'm sure she has, like, a thousand bathrooms. <laughs> like, a thousand half-bathrooms. Yeah. Like, it's just unnecessary. And I'm like, in what world or, like, what are you doing where, you know, like, you don't have ADT? Like, you know, in the commercial, as soon as they break the window, they'll oh, be like, yeah, right to the little command center. I'm like, how come you don't have no type of, like, I don't understand this. You ever but... see those videos with the guys who break into celebrities' homes and then the celebrities either are like, get the fuck out of my house, or they're like, oh, let me be in the video with you. Oh, let me be in the video with you. You know? My black ass would never. You've never seen, and these guys, it's the two guys. And this is white people you're talking about. No, 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 no. It's a black guy and his friend who's probably like Puerto Rican or something. They're breaking into people's houses? Not breaking in, but the, well, yeah, it's considered breaking in. Like, a, they would jump over a gate or something. And the guy is like, what is you doing, baby? What is you doing? You That's never... him? That break, that he breaking into people's houses? Yeah. He do? They not robbing nothing or anything. They're just like, oh that my, shit ain't like, cute. oh my god, it's Wendy Williams, and Wendy Williams is like chasing after him with a knife. That didn't happen. I mean, but that this, shit is not cute I at say, all. Oh, that ain't this, funny. I say this. To you will die. You will literally die. Like you didn't. You can't even pop. You can't even Diddy's pop up. And no, Diddy, I didn't. Like, was sitting at the table with Cassie, and he was like, "Yo, what the fuck you doing?" Like I can't tell if these are real. I or think not. those are pranks. No, some I think of them those are jokes. Real though. Okay. My thing on it is, I don't believe it. is that 
if, if, these situation, job, if these situations are happening, it's because these celebrities, clearly, I know you guys are super comfortable in your amazing houses, but you have to lock your doors. You have to get a security system. Like, I know you think that you're untouchable, but you are. No. Those have to be fake. There's, they have, there's no way you're breaking into Diddy's house or any celebrity's house. They have not called the cops on you. It, they really... Rec- you have to see the videos. Like, they will record themselves either walking into the house or, like... Just opening the door, like it casually. Sounds it sounds so dumb. And it's it could be super dark outside, and it, they the have to anymore. take a, like a long ass walk to get to the house because it's like in West Bubble East, Jesus nowhere. Like it's ridiculous. It's funny. You gotta see it. It's funny. You wow. guys, you okay. guys seen it before, right? Where the guy's like, "What did you doing, baby?" No, I know who you're talking about. I ended up seeing breaking nobody's house. And I just hate stupidity. I just hate stupid stuff. Yeah. So like that just annoyed me. I know. <laughs> anyway, well, let's move even on. Some more <laughs> annoying stuff. Yeah. So Samuel, well, Berkowitz, he's the landlord at this um, place in Brooklyn where there's a huge mural of Biggie. You mean, is it his apartment building? No. Yeah, it is an apartment building. And it's on Bedford Avenue. So it's in the sty. It's in bed sty. Bedford Stuyvesant. There you go. And he's like, you know what? I know this mural has been up for like three years. Even though you guys probably thought it was like 1996. No, it's not. It hasn't been up that long. It's only been three years. It looks like a fairly new mural though. It doesn't? Yeah. Okay. I mean, in terms of murals, like if you're going to compare it to murals like that, like that old dirty bastard mural that's like also yeah. in the style, uh-huh. you could tell that was painted like 20 years ago. Yeah, this... Like the, that's an old yeah, mural. Yeah, no, you're right, because it has some cracks and like a little yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. But this mural was just painted in 2015. I feel like Janet Jackson. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, that's why I'm trying to be as calm as possible, because any extra craziness, I'm going to break a sweat, and uh-huh. I don't need to. Um, So this guy is wants to renovate the apartment building, and he's ready to put windows on the place of where the mural is and so a lot of people have like reached out and said don't do it according to dna info the guy is just simply has the most discourteous attitude about it he says why should i keep it i don't see the point in this discussion i could demolish the building if i wanted to i don't need no permission from anyone except the dob now the artists who created this are associated with this art collective called Spread Art NYC. Now the artists Rocco and Zimmer, um, Zimner will offer, you know, Samuel five thousand dollars, and to counter it, Samuel said, "You know what? You guys can give me twelve hundred dollars a month." But they're not going to be able to sustain that, and they said it themselves that they're not able to like give them that much every month. So with that said, the guys like I'm doing whatever the fuck I want. And according to, you know, his neighbors and his tenants, he says that they are annoyed looking at the mural because of all the attention that it brings. But my thing is, like, it's like, again, it's not the one on Fulton. It's the one in that side. Like, I don't see that many people. First of all, my first time seeing that mural was actually when the story went up. Like, I had never seen that one before. I'm I'm like, you lying. Stop lying. You lying. You're a liar. You (laughs) lying. It's Best Eye. It's where Biggie is from. It's where he originated. It's it's what's in the songs. You know, Biggie is Brooklyn. Brooklyn is Biggie. Like, just keep it up. Stop being annoying. And the thing is, is that it's $1,500. Um... No, the rent over there is like $2,500, but he says that if he puts these windows up, he's able to raise the rent $500 more. So clearly, it's not even about like art and creativity. He just wants to make the more money. money. Um, and honestly, I get it from both perspectives. I'm like, you know, as a creative, you, like, you built this beautiful mural that, re- that reflects the culture in this community. Mm-hmm. Like, that's dope. Like, keep it up, preserve it however you can. But then there's another side of me which is just like, you know, I'm a landlord. This is what I do. Like, I make this money. I break down buildings. I renovate it. And I make it into a beautiful place for rich people to stay. Or middle class. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I partially get that. But then the other thing... First of all, we have to... This AC has to go in the window by next week. Because I just feel so bitchy. I just feel so rude. Like, everything. I'm just like, fuck this story. I hate this. I know. I feel the same way. That's why I'm really calm. Yeah, my energy is just, like, not in a good place. And I think it's the heat, child. This is why people go crazy and start shooting people in the summertime. Hello? It's not a joke, y'all. The heat really brings out the worst in you. It's just um, sad. It's just what? Sad. Yeah. But, yeah, no. So, I'm just like... This is, like... And, again, this is a whole thing. You know, gentrification. Blah, 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 blah. Right, right, right. But it's just like... You moved to this place that's supposed to be so cultured and have so all of these great things and all of these roots back to it before you got here. Yeah. And it's just like just again, just stripping the culture. Just stripping the culture. Like For sure. For sure. Yeah. Um Keep the mural. 
just keep it, Daddy. Like, why are you acting like that? It's like the episode of Hey Arnold. Yo, Hey Arnold was some real shit, though. It really was. Hey Arnold did set, tackle gentrification before I even knew what it was. Nope, same. They did. I didn't even know about, about to it build until, that. like, I saw a meme. Yeah. With, like, breaking down, like, yeah. all that stuff that went on in Because they did live in best eye Like, I don't know if that's true, but they lived in best eye <laughs> They lived in a brownstone, and they really yeah, tried to, true. like, knock down all of their brownstones to build that, what was it, like, a mall or, like, a, 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 a stadium? I think it was a mall. Because what was the girl's name that was obsessed with? Um, not Angelica. Arthur. Her name is not Angelica. Helga. Helga Pataki. Who was Angelica then? From Rugrats Girl. Oh. Ooh, Helga's father, person. you know, who was ideally, I think he was a little Donald Trump ish. Now that I'm looking back in time, he was a little. Was Donald, she rich? She, she, she was a little wealthy. Her dad did a lot of stuff, I think cell phones and technology or something. Okay. Shout out to Nickelodeon being a little woke. Lobo. I see y'all. Shout out to the Brothers Garcia for being Hispanic. The Brothers Garcia! <laughs> Taina! Taina, right? Taina does not get the credit she deserves. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. I was just saying the other day, like, I just... Selena Gomez it. took her all Taina steam. Like, you know, she did. Ew. I got into... Ew. <laughs> I, I was leaving my internship and I got in the elevator. I'm like, fuck, yo, I just want to be Taina. Like... Why are they trying to take this away from me? Was she like a fashion me? designer? What does she do? She I just, just remember the theme song. She like a singer in, in the entertainment Taina, industry. Yeah. I'm going to see my name in lights. No one can stop me. <laughs> oh, too much You'll baby. You'll see. I will go far. I can't do it. Taina. Nope. Taina. <laughs> All right. So, um, moving on. So, mm-hmm. there is a young man by the name of Brandon Vesmar who is really my idol. So, he went on a date. Uh, is he white? I believe he's a, 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 a Caucasian man, yes. We use okay. Caucasian in this house. Why is that necessary? Because it is. Because it is. Because <laughs> I said so. Because <laughs> it is. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Not a professional. All right, so Brandon Besmar is a, um, a young man that took a woman on a date. It was on their first date. They went to go see Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I'd have been a little pissed because I have not seen Guardians of the Galaxy 1. But nevertheless, they go to the movie. And um, Brandon paid seventeen thirty one for his date to see the movie in three D. Now, first I said, "Damn, where y'all live at?" Because a three D ticket here is easy, like twenty five dollars. So, like right. seventeen dollars is like the minimum, like you know, for New York City. That's like an average ticket, just a Friday night. <clears throat> but in any event, so he pays for a three D movie. They go, they sit up. You know, she got her goobas. He got his popcorn with the hole in the bottom. You know what that means, right? You never heard that joke before? No. So when you go to a movie theater, you get the big bucket of popcorn, you cut a hole in it, you put your dick through the hole so that when a girl gets the popcorn, when she gets to the bottom, she's like, oh! And then, next thing you know. Sounds like a lot of patriarchy. Okay. Uh, if you had a penis, you could do the same. So, <laughs> don't hate. Sounds like something a man created. Appreciate. Well, you'd be surprised, though. <laughs> you'd be surprised. You know that the first tampon was created by a man? That's a lie. No! So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, so yeah, so... Um, they sit in the movie, just 15 minutes in, this girl's shaking titties. Um, she pulls out her phone 10 to 15 times, and Brandon was not happy about this. He says, hey, put your fucking phone away. Not really. He says that. <laughs> but, no, go with it. All right, he says, put your fucking phone away before I cut your shit open, ma. Yeah. I like he just went from, like, Brandon to, like, you know, Brand Sean. <laughs> Jay Sean's little cousin. Yeah, so whatever. So he tells the girl, you know, step outside if you're going to use your... Oh, leave if you're going to use your phone. Well, this bitch actually got in her Uber and was like, all right, well, I'll go home. And, like, just left him completely at the movie theaters. So um, he is now suing her for $17.31 for um, pain and suffering. (laughs) And um, he won his money back for the movie ticket. Now, two, I, I feel two ways about this. He should have discussed this with the girl. Like, I want my money back. Right? Because there's a couple do's and don'ts. I think, A, you don't text in the movie theater. <clears throat> what did I do? You forever on your phone in the movie theater. Really? Yes. We only been to the movies once with each other. Twice, and both times you were on your phone. I have called her black ass, and I've been like, she's been like, hello. I've been like, where are you? She's like, I'm at the movie theater. I'm like, so get off the fucking phone. But you called me. You're in the movies! But it might be an emergency. I am not I am not your parents' child or your parents' other child. I'm not your mama, your daddy, your sibling. We don't have emergencies. So why would you call me? Because I probably wanted to know something. That's not an emergency. You could have just text me then. <sighs> that's besides the point. That is not the point. And you know that's not the point. You're just an asshole. You don't have courtesy for the people and the space that you're in. I totally do not pull out my phone during the movie. You are such a liar. And if I do, it's only because they're checking your baby. <laughs> anyway, 
So put your phones away in the movie theater. Nobody wants to see all that brightness. Oh, it's a. really hot. And then B. Oh, uh, it's so hot. I'm sorry, I'm bugging out. Okay, continue. B, you don't go to the movies on the first date. That is the worst first date ever. When people take Where me. Where do you go? Um, excuse me, I'm not going to tell you much about you, child. Because when I go, I want to go in peace. Um, but yeah, no, but first dates are not. You go to a restaurant, you go to a nice park, you go somewhere where you can sit and talk to people. What's his name again? Uh, Branson. Branson? But, you, but you can't talk in a the movie theater. Okay. And if you are talking in a movie theater, then we definitely can't Can we date. just talk about how Brandon hasn't gone on a date in a really long time and he wanted to go see the Guardians of the Galaxy and he thought that it was okay to go see it with a girl that he probably liked. Like... Dude, well, you I mean, he liked her if you took her to the movies. You could have just went by yourself. Why are you going to take... She didn't want to see that. That's why she was on her phone. Discussion over. Discussion over. <laughs> and that's why I'm low-key on her side, too. <laughs> and I'm just like... Because that's like me, like... That's and like, now you're just being a fuckboy by being like, well, I'm going to sue you for yeah. $17.31 because you didn't want to watch the movie with me. They're going to want to go see that punk-ass movie. You don't sound like that. Wild well, man got to be a punk-ass movie, though. <laughs> No, but that is equivalent to like if it was like nineteen, like you know ninety, like six or something. And it's like, yo, I want to go see Friday after next. And this girl's like, I haven't even seen Friday. <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck this trilogy is about. Right. You but, probably were sorry. being like super, um, um, what is it Geeky. called? Invasive. Oh and yeah. Just like, we're gonna go see this. Come on, let's and go. Yeah, and she's like, uh, okay, okay, you paying, right? right. Oh, okay. You know but what I'm saying? Even if you're gonna pay, like you know, just pop in a headphone, listen to a podcast, some shit. But don't be on your phone. Don't. But don't be like on your phone. Imagine like, listening to a podcast because you cannot stand the movie that you're watching with your date. And so like the read is on and you hear Crystal's loud laugh and like, <laughs> like it's just mad funny. And then you're like, ah! mind you, somebody in the movie is dying. That would be hilarious. That would be so hilarious. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Shout out to Brandon though for being super audacious right. and just like, I'm going to sue right. you because I think that's hella funny. Yeah. Yeah. Super random. Though. Was you guys could have talked about this though. Like she could have. Nah, sure fuck. He don't want to talk to her. You don't think she would have been like, "Here's your money." Like no, I would have been like, "Here's your money." Maybe I would. Really, I would have. Well, I don't know because I'm also. I like to prove to you like I don't need this shit. My man has two jobs. You know, like I'm, I'm that like type, that all the time. I'm that type too. of person. So I'd be like, "Here, take your fucking money back." I don't exactly. Want it. Don't ever talk to me again. That's exact. I will yeah. give you the twenty dollars. I will give you the I money you for the my $20. ticket and your ticket. So <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> How about that? You can have this money. Right? Don't take me to nobody court. I don't trust the law. Exactly. I don't trust, right? <laughs> we both go in there and come out dead. Right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway. But anyway. yeah, so Slay it Oh, sorry. And then the only reason why you really go to a movie on the first date, though, is if you're just trying to, like, have sex with people. Like, you know, if you're trying to, like, you know, slip under a shirt, you know, if you're trying to peruse in somebody's pants, you know, movies is good for that because it's dark in there. But... I think the only time I watch a movie and it was, like, the last two movies, they were, like, super black. And I just want to see them because they were super black. And I, I went by myself because I was like, I want to go see this. It's not true. Why are you lying? We saw Moonlight together. We, we did go see Moonlight No, why are you lying for? You're right. You're right. But I feel like if there's a movie that I want to watch, I'm not going to ask my friends if they want to watch oh, yeah. it, too. I mean, I'm only going to ask you to watch it if I know you're into it. Yeah, exactly. Like, of course, I'm going to be like, oh, girl, you want to go see Hidden Figures? But I'm yeah. not going to ask you to go see... I don't know, Power Rangers. Because I'm like, I know you don't care about that. If you that. don't care, exactly. Yeah, like, so it sounds like it's a movie that he would have... I mean, we could totally be having this narrative all wrong, which oh, we yeah. probably have for the last But I mean, listen, minutes, this is the thing about having a show. You got to have a point and just drive. You just got to go with it. <laughs> How do you think Fox News stays alive lasting for so long? Hello. Just get a point, you just go with it. Just go. <laughs> Even no, if it's not right, <laughs> just go it's, with it. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. Word. Slay it, sis. Anyway. All right, so let's get into this week's Slay It Sis. So this week's Slay It Sis goes out to uh, a woman by the name, even if you don't know her name, you know her work. And I just, mm-hmm. sometimes I hate stories like this, but I also love stories like this. So her name is Yvette Lee Bowser. Um, here's a picture of her. You're looking like, who that is? Well, let me tell you, she is the reason why you enjoy 90s sitcoms as you do so much. So Hello. she is a TV producer and writer. She uh, produced Half and Half. She produced a different world. She's yeah, a consulting producer on Blackest. First of all, she just been oh, and then she was the creator and executive producer of Living Single. So she's been on a lot of shows that have great theme songs because yeah. all of these shows have I was great just theme say, songs. Right? Three, yeah, I mean, except seven. Blackish, but you know, theme songs That's are not a now. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they really are. Yeah, nobody has theme songs anymore, which is it's so more like a do 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 title card. Yep. 
That's whack. Anyway, so yeah, so um, with creating Living Single, she was the first African American woman to develop a primetime TV show, and as we all know, Living Single is. You know, just the end all and be all when it comes to great television shows. White people, if there was no living single, you wouldn't have friends. So you need to pay homage to this woman. So, um, yeah, she is still working, still slaying the game. She is the executive producer of Dear White People on Netflix, which was really, really good. Um, that movie has, uh, that mean that show has provided me with a new bae. But I don't want to tell y'all who, because then y'all going to be all up in his DM. So who? just mind your fucking business. This is, I have a, a new baby father. Here you go. Javante and I broke up. You know, we were trying to work out, but we just, we just couldn't. We just, he's just when doing, you, when you bite your just doing way just too much. Do so, um, yes. Anyway. So shout out to the, you know, Yvette Lee Bowser. Keep doing the great work, girl. And listen, I'm trying to be on the second one more day, huh? Let me get a job. <laughs> Speaking right. of, let me get a job. Shout out to Cardi B, who uh, got nominated for her, her first BT award. Awards. Yeah, that's amazing. I would go to the other people that got nominated, but you know, it's the typicals, the Drakes, the Beyonce's, the Solange's, you know. But when it comes to female hip-hop artists... Um, female. I'm glad female. that she's able to rock out on that. I wonder, but I do wonder, like, who are the other people besides her and Nicki? Remy. Like, will Remy be up there? You already know! Will, um... They should nominate Big you know. Frida. I like Big Frida. Frida is not a hip hop artist. She's a bounce artist. She's a rapper. But she gives me more like. So what is it? I feel like she's not really saying anything. That's rapping. If Lil Uzi Vert is going to be a rapper, we're going to give Frida her fucking roses. Oh, that's right. She can have it. Bounce, 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 bounce. Have a great weekend. All right, yes. Y'all be good. Um, Trying to think. Oh, yes. Oh, housekeeping stuff. Yeah, so. As always, uh, follow her at Ken Ken Mira. You can follow me at underscore Hey Malcolm. Make sure you like the Facebook page at Still Diverted. Follow us on Instagram at Still Diverted and tweet us using the hashtag Still Diverted. So that's it. That's all we got. Uh, y'all stay warm. Give it all you got. Remember, you cannot separate peace from freedom because no one can be free without freedom. Something like that. I was at the halal cart last night. Let me tell you. Oh, my God. I was about to have a breakdown. I was just thinking about Malcolm X because I remember that it's his birthday today, too. Oh, yes. Happy birthday, Malcolm. Um, the Malcolm celebrated May. So I was at the halal I cart last night. I thought he was a night. Scorpio, too. I didn't know he was a Taurus. Go ahead. No, so real quick story. So I was at the halal cart last night. It's like 4 in the morning. I'm not even super drunk, but I should be super drunk, but that's a whole other story. Unless she has her freedom. That's what it is. Okay, okay there you go. <laughs> um... So I go up to the halal car, right? So I've been really obsessed with halal food lately. I don't know why. So I wanted lamb over rice. I've been really obsessed with lamb over Damn rice. Sense. Now I've been going to the halal car for maybe like the past three or four weeks now. The Pretty frequently. City? There's a bunch of them. But okay. there's one, like, you know, the main one, like the halal brothers on like 35th and uh, 6th. And shout out to them. Their car blew up the other day. But yeah, the whole car blew up, girl, all over the news. Crazy. Yeah, you can Google it. So anyway, so I go last night. You know, I want some like, you know, not really drunk, but just super tired. Just need to eat, you know, dinner food. Mm-hmm. So I go up to the car and I'm like, can I get lamb over rice? Now, if you're familiar with, you know, the way the Halal Brothers work, you know, the regular work is working yellow and then like, you know, the boss works in black. Oh, so I never talk- real thing. Yeah, they have like polos and everything. So I never talked to the boss. So the boss is like, so I, the boss is like, oh, what you want? I was like, let me get lamb over rice. He's like, oh, beef over rice? So mind you, like I said, it's like four in the morning. I just assumed that there's no more lamb left. So I was like, oh, you don't have any more lamb? And he's like, we never have lamb. And I was like, excuse me? And he was like, no, we never have lamb. It's always what? beef. And I was like, now I've been here before and have ordered lamb over rice. He was like, if you order lamb, they probably gave you beef. Now I don't know who I'm more upset with. Me for not knowing the difference between lamb and beef because it definitely be tasting like lamb. Well, why wouldn't it? It's a halal cart. Why don't they have Exactly. Lamb? And then he was just like... How like, do you allow if you don't have lamb? I was so confused. And I was like, have I? Like, is he lying? But I'm what like... What separates you from everybody is because you have lamb. You have lamb on your cart. Just a big old, like, sh- a lamb. And you like, said 35th and what? 30, sorry, 40, 50, 3rd, and 6th. 50, 3rd, white people. And I was just like, y'all, like... like beef. I was just like, I was very confused. So I'm just like, has this all been a lie? Yes. This has all been a lie. Who am I? Who, what, what have Where I been eating? You? Yeah. And then when I got home and ate it... It tastes like lamb. <laughs> so, well, what the fuck? I'm still confused. I'm still so confused, but whatever. In any event, all right, y'all be good. Shout out to Beyonce. I'm, I think she gave birth already. I think Beyonce gave birth. I really do. Beyonce hasn't posted in over a week. So I think Beyonce has had these babies. I feel like Beyonce doesn't post every week. Nah, she's been posting a lot lately. Like those baby bump selfies videos. For sure, yeah. She's been posting. And I have on post notifications. Like once she announced she was pregnant. Once she announced she was pregnant. I just want to be there as soon as it happened. <laughs> so I assume that one or two things. Either she gave birth already, but she gave birth at home so nobody knows about it. So I'm like, if she gave birth in a hospital, them nurses going to fucking talk. Like oh, somebody would have sure. been at TMZ, for Hot sure. Topics, ball. somebody would have been somewhere oh, already. I'm totally having my next child in my house. 
You should have it at my house. Psych. Messing up my good fucking carpet. <sighs> All right, well, y'all be good. Um, okay, story time. Over. Story time. I want to get to that point where we're like those YouTubers. Where I'm like, story time. And it's just like, so I was at the mall the other day, right? And fucking bitch bumps into me. I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? And she's like, bitch, what are you doing? And, and then come to find out, she was my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, what the fuck? It's just like, so you're just lying for YouTube? <laughs> You have a story time every day, bitch. Every, every day, day your channel got story time. <laughs> now, people are going to be throwing shit at one direct person. I'm really not. I'm re that was really just random YouTube talk. All right, let's get out of here before we get ourselves into more trouble. All right, y'all be good. Take Stay safe. Guys. Stay cool. Weekend. Wear your bulletproof vest if you're living in the Bronx especially because you know it's about to get crazy out here in these streets. And listen, ladies, don't be afraid to walk past these men. We need, to, we need to start talking to them. Because if we don't, they're going to continue doing that bullshit that they do on the corner. Like, today, I knowingly know that, like... I knowingly know. <laughs> I knowingly know. <laughs> I'm super aware that, yes, I'm wearing a skirt today. And I don't have any laundry left. So I'm just wearing whatever I have left. Yeah, and, yeah. And just it just happens together. to be, like, a bunch of blouses and, like, office skirts. Yeah. So I put this on. And I'm walking down the street. And there's a specific block. I'm not going to say the block. But it's a specific block. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's like so many dudes in front of that corner store. Nigga central. <laughs> and I just walk. And I keep walking. And I'm on the phone like, ah, and I keep walking. <laughs> and there's a point where I got so close to a brother like right there. But he was so in my face. I was like, I'm going to keep walking. And if you say something slick, I'm going to say something to you. So I was ready. <laughs> I was prepared for these niggas today. So I say that to say, we have to start saying something. Because if we don't. They're going to continue thinking that this shit is cute, whether it's grabbing on us, pulling on us, staring at us, sexualizing us. And usually I don't even care about stares because that's something that goes over my head. But even like when you're grilling me and I can feel your energy, like you need to back the fuck up. And that's it. Speak on it. Speak on it. Speak <laughs> Yo, on it. Yo, you love doing that. You, you have to go. Take clip. care, guys. All right, bye, y'all.